Choosing the wrong bid strategy in your Google ad account is the difference between putting your hard-earned money into a slot machine and gambling versus it being like an ATM machine which prints you money. Having guided thousands of business owners to make millions with Google ads, I know exactly what you need to do to get your ads to make you big money. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal my easy to follow 4S bidding system that will turn your Google ad campaigns and business into an ATM. Ready? Let's go dive in. So before I dive into the first S, you need to know the difference between manual bidding and automated bidding. And essentially, when you are doing manual bidding or manual CPC, you are deciding what is the maximum amount you are willing to pay for a click. Versus with automated bidding, Google is deciding what to bid and what to pay for a click, depending on their data. So you might be wondering, how do they make such decisions? Well, that's a good question because it's essentially based on the data that you give it, which will all become clear in the rest of this video. So the first S refers to start. So here is what I recommend you should do when you are starting a new campaign is to start with manual bidding strategy. Now you might be thinking to yourself, hang on a minute, I got a call from a person at Google directly who told me to do automated bidding. Don't worry, when you understand why I'm telling you to do this, it will make a lot of sense and it will also save you a lot of money. Oh, and heads up, those Google strategists, they're actually salespeople and just want you to spend more money. So the reason we want to start with manual bidding is if you launch straight into one of the automated bid strategies, Google has no data to know how to bid properly. And what will end up happening is you will massively overpay for certain clicks. So for example, you may end up paying over $100 for a click, a click, not a lead where you would otherwise only spend five or $10. So my advice is to start with manual CPC bidding to control your cost per clicks and therefore control your spend. Note, if this is a new campaign, Google forces you to do their automated bid strategy when you are going through the setup process. So you will need to select an automated bid strategy in this setup process. But as soon as you create this new campaign, you can go ahead and change this bid strategy. If you're not sure how to do that, I'm going to do a quick screen share and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to change your bid strategy from automated to manual. So here we are in a Google ad account and I've gone into a campaign and we're going to make this change at the, at the campaign level. So it's part of our campaign settings. So we click in the campaign settings, scroll down here to the bidding section and you'll see it's currently set at maximize conversions. So I want to change bid strategy. I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to select this option, select a bid strategy directly, even though it's not recommended. Thanks, Google. I'm good. So we're going to click on this and then you're going to see manual CPC bidding here and then you click save. So that is how you change your bid strategy from automated to manual. But just so you know, manual bidding is actually a temporary measure and we need to do this till we go to the next step, which leads me into step two. So step two of our 4S is the what we call settle. Now, before we can progress to any order bid strategy, we need to let the data settle and ideally get 30 conversions in a 30 day period. Moving too early from manual to automated bidding even if you've been doing manual CPC, CPC bidding for a while, can kill any progress that you've made from step one, or it can completely blow out your budget in one click. Let me show you an example of this, of somebody who moved too quickly to automated bid strategies. Here we are in a live Google ad account. I've gone to the search terms. And as you can see here, if we scroll up a little bit, the average CPC is $7 for the top, right? But if we scroll down here, you can see there are some CPCs for $167, another one for $106. That is per click. That's their daily budget blown in just one click. So I don't want this to happen to you. Now you might be thinking, what if I don't have 30 conversions in a 30 day period? 
I've seen this in a number of instances and so my suggestion here is to wait at least a few weeks with manual CPC bidding and then you can potentially move with caution onto step three which I'm about to cover now even with the amount without the minimum amount of conversions you want to watch your cost pretty closely though so let's go to the point three now which is the next S in our four S process which stands for set so now that we have set up our conversions with enough data. This is where the step where we're going to change our automated bid strategy from manual to automated. Here is where we're going to have to decide which auto bid strategy to choose from because there are a number of different ones. So if you are an e-commerce business, you will most likely select target ROAS. Uh, and if you're a lead generation business, it will either be maximized conversions or target CPA bidding. CPA stands for cost per acquisition or what is the cost per lead. So if you are new to automated bid strategies, I'm going to suggest, particularly if you do are a lead generation business, I'm going to suggest that you do target CPA bidding. There have been many instances where we have followed our first two steps outlined and then we literally, all we have done is switch to automated bid strategy and our conversion rates have at least doubled. We literally did not change anything else in the campaign. That is the power of these automated bid strategies. If you set them up right, then they have really the power to, in our, our situation, sometimes double the conversion rate. But in essence, just prepare yourself for fluctuations in lead volume, hopefully for the better. And it's important to note here that you want to set your target CPA to what you are actually getting leads for. That means if your actual CPA amount is, let's say, $20, you will set your target CPA amount to be $20. Now, I understand that this might not be the lead cost that you ultimately want to get, but don't worry, I'm going to talk about that in the final step. So, but if you are unsure what your leads are coming in at, I'm going to show you how to find this out right now. So here we are in this Google ad account and I've gone into a campaign and we have a number of different ad groups, uh, but you'll see that this ad group is the main ad group that's generating the leads. So what we want to do is we want to uh, find the metric, this cost divided by conversion. So that is what our CPA amount actually is or our uh, cost per lead or cost per conversion. If you don't see this in your columns, you can easily change the columns and into the in the conversion section, you'll be able to find that. So if we're going to switch to target CPA bidding, then we want to set as I was up as what I was previously saying, our target CPA amount to be $90 because that's what our actual lead costs are coming in at. And then we are in step four, I'll show you how to reduce it. So to do this, we're gonna go back into our campaign settings to our bidding section, change bid strategy. And we want to select uh, maximize conversions, but we wanna check this checkbox here, which is to set a target cost per action. And we're going to set this to be $90. And then we're going to click save and that will switch that campaign to our target CPA bid strategy. This leads me to the final S, which stands for slow. So Google's automated bid strategies can be a little bit like dealing with a crocodile. No big and sudden movements. Sorry, I'm Australian, so we're pretty scared of crocodiles here, or maybe that's just me. But this means you're going to slowly change your target CPA amount to the CPA amount that you ideally want for this account. Making changes too quickly can ruin all your hard work that you've done so far, so don't be impatient here. So in our, the case of the example that I used earlier, we would change our $90 target CPA amount and we would slowly drop it to the amount that we would like to acquire leads for. Just small changes here, I recommend no more than 30 to 50% adjustment at any time and then wait a couple of days for the algorithm to settle. So just so you know that if you drop your target CPA amount, 
You are likely to get less impressions and clicks as Google's trying to get cheaper traffic. So don't be alarmed. Uh, and the same goes for the reverse. If you raise your target CPA amount, so from $90 to let's say $110, you will most likely get more traffic as Google has more scope to bid higher and more aggressively. It's also worth mentioning that the amount you set your target CPA to is not going to be what your actual leads come in at. So don't worry if you increase your target CPA target, that doesn't mean that your lead cost will definitely increase. It's just allowing Google more scope to buy more traffic and possibly you know a little bit more expensive traffic, but you'll get more volume. Although not always actually. If I show you what I mean here, here in this account, you can see our target CPA column is here. So for example, our first campaign, we set our target CPA for $20, but the leads are coming in at $25. This one, we've set our target CPA for 30, they're coming in at 31. This one for 70, and we're getting leads for 36. So what you set your target CPA amount is not actually what they're going to come in at. It's what Google's striving to get. So anyway, if you want to understand more about target CPA bidding, you can watch this other video I have on target CPA bidding, which will go into it into a little bit more depth. So there you have it. Those are the steps for implementing uh, the best bidding strategies for your business. And don't forget to go ahead and watch that target CPA bidding video, which you'll find really helpful. And you can also check out our audit uh, checklist that you can download for, for free. I'll put a link in the description as well. And uh, thanks so much for watching.